Went for a nice little ride today and uh, got a puncture on the way back, which was a bit of a nuisance. Always a nuisance, isn't it? Uh, fortunately, my wife was coming up the road behind me in the car, so I took the easy option and just got a lift home. Uh, but of course, I forgot to turn the Garmin off, didn't I? Which is a pain. So <laughs> I've just uploaded my ride to to Strava, and I've got a load of comms on the way th- on the way home. But of course, I'm I'm not happy about letting those stand because I was not on my bike, I was in the car. Um, If this happens to you, there's a simple remedy. You can go into actions and then crop the ride. This is the first time I've ever done this, so I'm... um, Ah, here we are. Move the start point or move the end point. So I'm going to move the end point back to... It was around there. So I'm going to crop that ride. Hopefully I won't show up for those comms anymore. Is that done? Yeah, 13.6 miles, that's about right. Excellent. Let's just check that on the leaderboard now. There we are. Good. Normal order is restored. If you're not a Strava user, of course, you might use something like Garmin Connect. Now, what happens if we try and upload the data here? I don't think there's a way of cropping the ride directly within Garmin Connect. Okay, so we've uploaded the ride to Garmin Connect. Now, I don't think we can edit it here. If we choose that edit option, full edit maybe, it's only going to let us alter dates, times, names, that sort of thing. We can't edit the actual ride itself. So if you don't use something like Strava, which has got that tool built in, you could export it to a TCX file or a GPX file and then use a tool such as TCX Converter, which will allow you to chop the file up into different bits. And there's probably half a dozen other ways of doing it as well. I've tried this on Ride with GPS as well. I've uploaded the ride here. This does have a tool to allow you to crop the end of the ride, but when you go to edit, it is actually a premium feature, so you can't do it if you're just a normal freebie user. However, um, it does look like it's got a save as function. So if I save that as a separate ride, I've not tried this yet, see if it works. Let's just call it test ride. Save that. Yeah, it looks like it's done that, doesn't it? New saved ride, view ride. And this one should be, yeah, we are, there we are, the 13.6 miles again. So that works on ride with GPS, even on the free account, which is great. Okay, so just to summarize those points then, if you're using Strava, Um, You can basically just go to Actions, Crop Ride. Okay, that works very well within Strava. If you're using Garmin Connect, uh, I think your best bet is to just export the ride as a TCX or GPX and edit there using another tool such as TCX Converter, which is a free tool, I think. Uh, What was the other one we looked at was Ride with GPS. And you can edit that ride. Uh, You can crop it. And then do a save as. Uh, If you've got any other favourite ways of cropping rides that have gone wrong in some way, uh, please share in the comments. I'd love to hear them. Cheers.